Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Good evening, teacher. ¿Me escuchan o no? Yeah. Hola. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. ¿Me escuchan? Yes. Hello, hello, ¿me escuchan? You, you know you're me. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Thank you. All right. Creo que yo estaba teniendo problemas ahí con el audio. <laughs> okay. Good. Um, how are you today? Fine, thank you. Yeah? Pretty good? Yes. Okay. Much better. <laughs> Much better? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. That's that's excellent. That's wonderful news. Okay. Thanks. So today we are going to start. Well, let's start our class by taking attendance. So okay. we'll start with Efraim Emilio. Is Stephanie Sarai? Present. All right, very good. Um, Geraldine Lisette Villeda. Geraldine Lisette Villeda. Ingrid Maricela Flores. Here, teacher. Thank you very much. Irma Adriana Segura. Irma Adriana Segura. José Alejandro Aquerano. José Alejandro Aquerano. Juan David Mad Madrid. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Carla Melissa Colocho. I'm here. Okay, very good. Kevin Josias Flores. Kevin Josias Flores. Lucia Elena Cepeda. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Miren Daniela Carranza. Miren Daniela Carranza. Okay, Negro de la Paz y Medes. I'm here. Okay, very good. Mena Janet Landos de Luna. Present teacher. Excellent. Eh, Nelson Adal Cerón. Nelson Adán Cerón. Patricia Esmeralda García. Patricia Esmeralda Gar García. Okay. Pat eh, Patricia Margarita Castellanos. Present teacher. 
Wonderful, thank you. Roberto Isaías Molina. Roberto Isaías Molina. Ronald Alexis Martinez. Present teacher. Right, thank you. Roxana Elizabeth Díaz. Roxana Elizabeth Díaz. Y Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. Hi, teacher. I, I'm here. Okay. Good. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. Okay. All right. Very good, everybody. Okay. Um. So we're gonna start our class. We will start by doing like a, a short review of what we learned last class. So, um, last class we started working and we started learning a little bit that with phrases, um, sorry, hmm? okay, so with phrases like, I like, I hate, I'm good at, I don't mind. I'm not good at, I can't stand. We use the gerund. Like driving, working, using. Working, writing, making. Okay, do you remember this? Yeah, so this is what we saw last class. Yeah. Now, very good. Okay, so now, if you notice, a, like I like and I hate, or in what form? What is the name of this tense? The sentence. What, do you, what is the name of this tense? Present the tense. The present tense, specifically yes. the simple present. Yeah. Okay. What auxiliary do we use with the simple present? Sorry? What auxiliary do uh, we use this, this, with the simple present? Uh, do. Oh. Exactly. Very, very good. Do. So when I am agreeing, when I want to agree with something, what I do mm -hmm. is I always use the word so, mm -hmm. and then because in this one, I'm using the, the simple present in the sentence, if I agree with it, I'm also going to be using the auxiliary do. Same thing here. We're using simple present, so I have to use do as the auxiliary. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Now, here, however, we're using the symbol. So we're using it. Am. Yeah, absolutely. I am. 
Yeah. So the 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 word here, even though it's we are using the simple present, but because we're using the verb to be, the auxiliary gonna be we're gonna be using is M. But of course, it all depends on the subject because if the subject is he, you're going to say, so is he. And then, of course, we use the, the verb, sorry, the, 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 the subject. Okay. Now, if you disagree with something, we're going to be using the same auxiliary but in the negative to say, I like driving. Oh, I don't. Okay. I hate working on weekends. Really? I like it. The reason the simple present. I'm good at using computers. Gee, I'm not. So notice we're using the verb to be in the negative. Does that make sense? So far, so good? So far, so This is like when you say, for example, in Spanish, by a mí me gusta manejar, a mí también. Okay, it's kind of the same idea here. Or the opposite, a mí no. Okay. Now, if that's the only half works with affirmative statements, with affirmative statements, with negative statements, we're not going to be using the word so. Instead, we're going to be using the word neither. Okay. Uh, this word is actually, it can be pronounced neither or neither. The two forms are, are okay. They're acceptable. Okay. Neither or neither. Neither. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Neither or neither. The two pronunciations are okay. Neither or neither. Now, in this one, in the first sentence, I don't mind working. So notice that we're using the, uh, the simple present and the auxiliary is don't. Okay, and the and then we have do when you are agreeing because we are using the auxiliary do the same, but over here I'm not good at writing. We're using the verb to be, so over here I'm going to be using the verb to be too. I can't send making jokes here. The auxiliary we're going to be using is can't. So you said neither can I. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. So um, now when you are disagreeing, though, it's the same thing. Basically, you're going to be disagreeing with the same auxiliary. Well, I do, I am, I don't mind. Any questions about that? No. Any questions?
Okay. Now, also, just to, for you to take into consideration that you can say, I like driving, but I can also, instead of just using I like, I can also use love. I love driving. So those are also, and love is another verb that can be used uh, with this form, with the gerund. So I love or I like driving, you could say. Also, I enjoy. So for example, I hate working on weekends. I enjoy working on weekends, et cetera, et cetera. And here we have interested in. That's another one that we can use with gerunds. Do you have any questions? Okay. Yes. You have a question? Uh, you... Yes. If you okay. say I'm interested, I'm interested in uh, um, painting. Mm -hmm. You can you have to use gerund in the same way. Yeah. B I I am interested in painting. Yeah. Yes. Ah. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else you have? Any other questions you have in mind? Okay. The, the, the information and let's look at the exercises. So what you're gonna do is you're going to match the phrases in column A with the statements from um, column B. Okay, got it? Yes, it's all clear? Okay. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to send you guys in the WhatsApp, I will send you the exercise. Just give me a moment. Okay, Dallas, you go. Yes, is there? Yes. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do then is I'm going to put you guys into breakout rooms to work on this exercise. Okay. And um, put you into small groups. Okay. All right. So here we go. We're opening the rooms right now.
Can you see the picture? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. See. Okay. Number one. Number one. I don't like uh, maybe work, working with a team. Yes. Okay, number two. I'm not very good at mm, solving, solving problems. problems. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I am good at mm, organizing my time. Yeah, organizing my time. Um, I hate um, sitting in meetings, can be? It's possible, yes. Uh, I can stand um, sitting in meeting. Yes, can be true. Um, I'm interested in learning languages. Yes. And uh, I don't mind. I don't mind making coffee for my boss. I enjoy working with a team. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Let me go check the other groups and, and see if, if they're finished. Okay. Working, no. <laughs> Working with a team, no. Probably. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Probably. Working with a team. And finally, we have I enjoy. Talking on the phone. Talking on the phone. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you like that, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fan of the. In the nineties, probably, but now we have WhatsApp, and mm -hmm. video calls. Yeah, mm -hmm. but Messenger. not for work. <laughs> yeah, but, but but makes sense. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. I enjoy talking on the phone. Mm -hmm. I think it's a it's a good option. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not completely sure with the first and with the number four, with the number one and the number four. I'm not completely yes. sure. Mm -hmm. It's a little confused for me. Too. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Repeat them again. I don't okay. like. I don't like.
Okay. All right, guys. Um, let's check the answers. So, um, please tell me if you can see my screen. You see my screen? You see my screen or no? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. All right. Good. So, all right. Let's start. I don't like. Tell me. What do you not like? I do like. <laughs> hmm. Excuse me. Letter F, making coffee for my boss. Making coffee for my <laughs> boss? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is actually, if you already, if you haven't already noticed, this is subjective. Like, I mean, it's going to depend on each person, right? There's no one answer. Um, but yeah, that makes sense. Making coffee for my boss does make sense. Okay. I'm not very good at. I'm not very good at. Solving problems. Solving problems. Okay, that works. Oh, commuting to work. Huh? Commuting to work. I'm not very good at commuting to work. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what is commuting to work? Yes. What is it? It's go to the work. Uh, uh -huh. uh, yeah. I don't know. yeah exactly so I'm not very good at means that you don't do a very good job of it mm -hmm. right so I don't know if that makes too much sense okay but um you did say solving problems that makes sense that could that could be a possible or, or organizing my time yeah organizing my time okay Next one, I'm good at solving problems. It could be solving problems. Learning languages. Learning languages. Working okay. with them. Yeah, working. Guys, my, my time. Uh huh, organize my time. I hate. I hate working with team with a team. Ah, uh, commuting to work. I hate commuting to work. Making yeah. coffee from my bar. Okay, making coffee <laughs> from my bar. Okay. Yeah, commuting to work. Yeah, that could work too. I can't stand sitting in meetings. Sitting in meetings. Okay. I can't stand sitting in meetings. Okay. I'm interested in uh, learning languages. Yeah, learning languages. I don't mind. Working with with a team. Um, Talking on the phone. I don't mind working with a team. Okay, good. And I enjoy? Talking on the phone. Back on the phone. Good. Exactly. So these are just some ideas, guys. I mean, you don't have to have that exact answers, but these are just some ideas of how you can do it. Does this make sense for you guys? Pretty clear? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All okay. right. No questions then? No. Okay. All right.
and stop sharing. Okay. Um, all right, very good. Um, okay, so now let's talk a little bit about personality traits. Um, personality traits are those like characteristics about that describe people. Um, each one of us has characteristic traits. Some are good, some are bad, some are not really one or the other. Um, so we're going to be talking about that in a moment. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So, uh, the first one we have is bad-tempered. Do you know what the word bad temper means? Yes. What does yeah. it mean? Mal character. You know how? Mal character. Mal temperament. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, mal temperamento. Okay. Creative. Creativo. Creativo. Positive. Yeah. Critical. Critical. Mm -hmm. Critical. Negative. Mm, so that's, mm -hmm. um, no, critical. Um, yeah, it's more like, or like, Critico o criticón. Uh -huh. eh, o criticona. Pero crítico de, de, ser, eh, de ser una persona analítica. No. No. The It's criticize. Cri yeah, cr the, that you criticize. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay. Disorganized. Desordenado. Desordenado. Yeah, right. Okay, good. Efficient. Eficiente. Mm -hmm. Good. Forgetful. Olvidadizo. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Generous. Generoso. Right. Generoso. Hardworking. Trabajo duro. Trabajo. Trabajador. Buen trabajador. Uh -huh. Trabajador. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, impatient. Paciente. Impaciente. Impatient, yeah, impaciente. Level headed. Olvidadizo. No. Level headed. Hmm. I don't know, teacher. Sensato. Estable. Yeah. Um, level headed is somebody that. Um, Equanime. Equanime. Wow. <laughs> that's, 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 those are fancy words. Um, <laughs> um, centrado, digamos. No, uh, centrado, no, como eh, una persona yeah. centrada. Yeah. Um, como juicioso. Mm -hmm. Okay, so somebody who who thinks with their head um, that is not going to be like 
thinking up in the clouds. Eh, somebody that central. Uh huh. Yeah. Central. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Moody. Bad temperament. Like not necessarily. In Spanish, in Spanish, the Spanish is like lo, lunatico. <laughs> in Spanish, <laughs> yeah. Uh, people yeah. who sometimes is good, is fine, sometimes is in a bad condition. So bipolar. A, uh, no, 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 not necessarily. Bi bipolar is a, is a, a, a medical uh, condition. 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 Uh, and, uh, it's, okay. and it's, um, and it's, and it's a mental disorder. Mm -hmm. um but but um moody it could just simply mean for example pregnant women pregnant men and women are known to be moody like because mm -hmm. one moment because of their hormones hormone levels sometimes they're happy sometimes they're sad sometimes they're mad mm -hmm. sometimes they're you know um sometimes they're very excited etc cetera, etc cetera. so we have to go yeah um yeah okay yeah exactly yes um saben que 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 le, tengo varias, um, eh, varios amigos, bueno, más de las amigas rusas, y les cuento qué es lo que en El Salvador llamamos soviético. Y le da tanta risa. <risa> Because... Richard, invítelas al país, invítelas, invítelas. Vaya, aquí a la residencia rusa. <risa> no, no es, no es broma, para los rusos ahorita es... Eh, está bastante difícil las cosas porque no, no en cualquier lugar pueden entrar. Entonces, mm. sé que sí, es, bas es bastante. Sí, uh -huh. la, conexión, la conexión para El Salvador sería muy difícil porque si pasan por Europa, tiene muchas restricciones por las sanciones. Sí. Teacher, teacher, si nosotros, digamos, aprendemos a hablar ruso, supuestamente el presidente Putin dijo de que esa era una de las condiciones para poder tener la residencia y poder hablar ruso pero supuestamente ese es uno de los idiomas más difíciles sí más o menos es, o sea eh, es tan bueno, difícil yo... que incluso la clase alta la clase letrada por así decirlo no lo habla al 100% sí eh, de hecho o sea sí mis, mis amigas lo, lo, lo bueno yo ya ya me acostumbré a bastante el ruso porque o sea entre mis amigas, ellas hablan mucho ruso, entonces a veces me quedo, solo, ellos están ahí hablando y hablando y me quedo ahí escuchando. Así que ya me acostumbré bastante al ruso, pero um, de hecho, o sea, si sí, esa es mi, mi próxima meta, después de, de aprender bien el turco, necesito aprender el, el, el ruso. Pero sí, ellas mismas dicen, es, es, un, un, es un idioma Díganos. bastante difícil. Teacher, que, que buena suerte en salvadoreño significa salvadoreño guapo. Así se dice. Bien. Ok. Anyway. Regresando a lo anterior. Ok. So, anyway. We have punctual. What is punctual? Es asertivo, teacher. O sea, ser, ser asertivo, ser punctual. Puntual. 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 De, 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 de... Pero no de, no de horario, sino que yes. de, de llegar al grano. Yes, no. Yes, you, usually punctual means that you are on time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, be careful because it, with their, it's, not, it's not punctual, it's punctual. Punctual. There's a, there's a C there. Oops, there's a C, punk, punctual, not punctual, punk, 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 punctual. 
Yeah. Reliable. Okay, I like this word a lot. Reliable. Mm -hmm. Like trust? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Um, so reliable is somebody you Pardon? can trust. Somebody mm -hmm. you can you can ask them to do something and you know that they will do it. Okay. All right. Strict. Mm, yeah. Very good. All right. So just pr practice the pronunciation with me. Ben tempered. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Creative. 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 Critical. 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 Disorganized. Disorganized. Efficient. Efficient. Forgetful. Forgetful. Generous. Generous. Hardworking. Hardworking. Impatient. Impatient. Level-headed. Level-headed. Moody. 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 Punctual. Punctual. Reliable. 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 And strict. Straight. 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 Okay. What was the meaning okay. of forgetful teacher? Yeah. Uh, Somebody that forgets things easily. Forget. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's me. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I forget things very easily. Um, mm -hmm. I'm so bad at, at remembering. Yeah. Really, really bad. Okay. All right. So, um, Bad tempered. It, that's obviously a bad quality, like or a negative quality. So we put an N here. What about creative? Is that is that a positive, positive negative, positive. or neutral? Positive. 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 Yeah, it's positive. Okay. Good. <coughs> Critical. Negative. Negative. Huh? Negative. 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 Very good. Okay. Teacher. Yeah? I have a question. Mm -hmm. So how do you call that person that has an opinion for all topics? If critical is negative, how how can you call that person? A person that has an opinion for everything. Yeah. Mm. If critical is negative, how do you call? Es, eh, según lo que al inicio era la cuestión de que yo pregunté lo mismo, si era crítico por la cuestión de, de ser alguien pensante, ¿no? alguien que tiene juicio crítico y la teacher dijo que no, que era alguien que criticaba. Mm. Pero de forma, de forma negativa, ¿no? O sea, right. Alguien que critica. Yeah. Um... So you want... So, una persona que pensante. Is that what you're saying? Sí, porque hay personas que son bien inteligentes y pueden opinar de la mayoría de temas que se les pregunte, pero no podemos usar critical para describirlo si es negativo eso. Ese adjetivo. Entonces, ¿qué, qué adjetivo se puede so, usar? So, in Spanish, so let me, let me understand this well. In Spanish, mm -hmm. there are two meanings for crítico. Um, I sí. think it could be because when you give a critic and it's a bad critic, like offending someone to the yeah. other. Yeah. Or, or you, you can criti uh, be critical with a movie and make an analysis and Analyze political. something and and say and say about something about the topic. I don't know. 
Like a constructive critic. critic. Yeah, that's constructive criticism. Mm. Yeah, so critical. Is... Hmm. Um. Let me think. Um. Example. Good critical. In, 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 example <laughs> okay. in, in in political it is opposite opposite opposition opposite Op opposition opposition excuse me critical opposition is is the the political government. Yes, it's, it's somebody who knows something about the topic and can analyze uh, about about it and say it's their opinion, but they know about they are, are talking about they're talking. Can we call that that person good critical? Por ejemplo, en español siempre se dice esta es una persona muy crítica en el sentido de que es alguien pensante puede analizar exacto uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm trying to figure out what we could how you can say that in English because somebody who who knows a lot of adult, different topics is somebody savvy we can say that somebody savvy how, how sorry you, savvy savvy do you savvy. Write, savvy how do you write it savvy or uh, uh, yes yeah, or spelling Analyst. No, no. Spelling? Um, so somebody that um, knows a lot about a topic, like yeah, about what? any topic, it, yes. you call them savvy. Savvy, wow. but, but how, how do you write it or how do you spell it? Uh, en, en estos okay. tiempos se usa se usa el término término mean, mean tank, o sea, tanque de pensamiento. Mean tank. What? Generalmente. Yeah, in, in, in English, uh, the the person, the opinion critical is is um, is critical time time. Um, in English, mm -hmm. so that's a that's a savvy person. Um, yeah, but somebody. Um, let me think about it, and I'll I'll get back to you on that. Okay. Savvy is, is like a uh, savvy? Like wise? Or... Um, no, not really. No? It's just like intellectual? Yeah, it's somebody that knows a lot about different topics. Yeah, intellectual, I think. Not yeah. necessarily. Not necessarily. No? Uh, because intellectual um, is somebody that knows about um, a lot of things and Read, yeah. read, read too much exactly they read a lot a savvy person doesn't necessarily read a lot they just know a lot of information maybe because of from experience mm -hmm. right um because they know lots of people or blah 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 not necessarily because they study a lot or things like that or that they're really intelligent. Not necessarily that. It's just that they know a lot of information. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It's como conocedor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Disorganized. A person who has a lot, a lot of knowledge. Yeah. Exactly. A lot mm -hmm. of knowledge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Disorganized. Negative. Negative. Yeah. <sighs> Efficient? Positive. Positive. Yeah. Forgetful? Negative. 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 Generous? Positive. 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 Hardworking? Positive. Positive. Patient? Sorry, impatient. Negative. Negative. Level headed? Positive. Positive. Moody? Positive. Negative. Mm -hmm. Or neutral. <laughs> it's because pero, pero it's Arjona, a part Arjona of di, the thing. Arjona said, who is more aware? Who looks at the moon? Do you remember that? No, uh, it's, it's, an, it's mm. a 
uh, personal characteristic um, that you have in, the, in your genetic, no? A person who's moody sometimes is, is like genetic, by genetic in, this, in that way. Mm. So is, is uh, negative or, or neutral? Moody, it's a bad person. Moody is usually yeah, but is moody we associate with the person that eh, that you never know they they change their 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 the way that they feel very easily. So mm -hmm. at one point, like you you never know if they're gonna be happy or sad or 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 angry at you. And that's and that's not a very does we don't associate that with a with a with a positive thing. It's usually a negative thing. Switch mm. mood. It's like when you literally like in Spanish you say, um, "Cómo está la luna?" Right? Like, like is that is luna. Si sí, ya se to a ver si ya se tomó las pastillas. Uh huh. So that's not that's not positive at all. Right, if somebody's referring to you as that, that's not positive, and it's not neutral either. They they really don't like that. Okay, punctual, positive, positive. reliable, positive, positive, strict. It depends. Depends. <laughs> in, 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 the, in the army, in the army, is positive. In the in my dad is negative. Yeah, so it's it's true. Depending on the situation, it could be positive or negative, but normally we associate strict with being negative. Normally, because somebody who's strict is usually inflexible, right? So it's like it's only this way, no other way, and so that is usually negative. Oh. Okay, so it's not, it can be neutral, you're right, because it depends on the situation. But usually, strict is, is associated with negative feelings, usually. In Spanish, when you say um, that a mom is strict, it's like uh, positive, because uh, controls uh, efficient, eff efficiently their their children yeah it depends on the situation i guess right but yeah usually um yeah it, yeah usually it's, it has like a, a negative connotation most of the time so anyway what we're going to do is um i'm going to send you i go i i have a question teacher yeah. about punctual is if you you are not punctual, you can say unpunctual. So it's punctual, punctual. Uh, uh, but if you are not punctual, you yeah. are unpunctual. You're uh, impunctual. Impunctual. Impun impunctual. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. So I'm gonna go take you back to your breakout rooms and I want you to discuss with your partner um, or with your group better said who are the people that you know that um, that fit those categories okay who do you know that is hardworking who do you know that is punctual who do you know that is critical etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so I'm opening the rooms right now Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> so I, I, I didn't 
didn't understand very well the exercise. Uh, I think we're going to discuss the definitions of each word. Oh, but, uh, but I think uh, we we discussed. <laughs> no, so Wait. who do you know that fits those profiles? Who do you know that is critical? Who do you know oh. that is punctual? Who do you oh. know that is impatient? Blah, blah, blah. So, okay. Talking about people? Yeah. She she left. <laughs> she has left. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, people uh, that, that you know. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So some who who knows somebody who has bad tempered? My dad. My dad too. <laughs> My dad too, and sometimes me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, creative. Creative. Yeah. Do you know somebody who is creative? Uh, Maybe people who yeah, yeah, cre creative can Polish him. <laughs> Polish him. Creative can be a person that that. He or she can eh, eh, dibujar, como se dice en inglés, no me acuerdo. Draw, 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 uh -huh, uh -huh. draw or paint or paint, uh -huh. this kind make, of make 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 pictures, make, make pictures, art. Uh -huh. make art, uh huh. Yeah, it's creative, yes. right? Or or publishing. Uh, but but creative yeah. people is creative to. to to say their lies. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Some people is very creative just to say lies. Like in uh, a medical situation? Or, mm. or what do you mean? Uh, creative? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. If, uh, if I do something wrong and people ask about, um, about what I do, I said, like, I don't know, maybe, or oh, if I was um, uh, impunctual, mm -hmm. somebody said, why Why do you came later? And I can say, oh, my God, when I was uh, driving to from from my house to, to, to the place, I have a, I had a difficulties in the, in the, in in the street or my tire was was out how do you say la la se se se, se apachó la llanta o sea son oh. people uh, do uh, uh, my, lo digo en español la gente hay gente muy creativa para decir mentiras ah uh. uh. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, well, we have come to the end of our class. Let me just take a quickly the attendance again. Uh, Efrain Emilio. Efrain Emilio. Uh, Stephanie Saraim Martinez. I'm here to talk. Geraldine Lisette. Villeda. Present teacher. Uh, Ingrid Maricela Flores. Here, uh, Irma Adriana Segura. Present. Uh, Jose Alejandro Bacarano. Present, Miss. Juan David Madrid. Present, teacher. Carla Melissa Colocho. I'm here. Uh, Kevin Josias Flores. Lucia Elena Cepeda. 
Mary and Daniela Carranza. Present teacher. Milagro de la Paz Jiménez. Here I am. Eh, Mirna Janet Landos. Present teacher. Eh, Nelson Adán Cerón. Eh, Nelson Adán Cerón. Patricia Esmeralda García. Patricia Margarita Castellanos. Hi, teacher, I am here. Okay. Roberto Isaias Molina. Present teacher. Excellent. Ronald Alexis Martinez. Night teacher. All right. Eh, Roxana Elizabeth Diaz. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. Yeah, I'm here. All right, good. Ok, bueno chicos, eh, entonces hemos ah, oficialmente llegado al final de nuestra clase, de nuestro curso. Eh, solamente recordarles de que también necesitan haber terminado todo de la plataforma para que sea válido su, um, el, el, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, la, el diploma. El diploma. Y ustedes entonces puedan pasar para el próximo nivel. Ok, así de que asegúrense que esta noche quede ya terminado porque el día de mañana se va a revisar y quien no lo tenga listo, entonces va a tener ahí ese inconveniente, ok. Así que ha sido un placer para mí, chicos. Cuídense mucho. Igual, y gracias. Bye, teacher. Gracias. Gracias. Nos vemos. Bye, 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 bye. Para bye. todos aquellos que quieran comunicarse conmigo, cualquier cosa, no lo intenten. Adiós. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. bye, bye.